So for my project here you can see that I've used the Samsung Gear VR uh, which is used for any Samsung Android device that you have. So for my I've got the S9 Plus and the, this Gear, uh, Gear VR comes with a controller which you can use in your left or right hand accordingly. It has a touchpad, a back trigger, a volume back and button. Uh, but for my game all I need is this trigger. I won't be using any of the touchpad or uh, home buttons and obviously I'll be using the headsets for the players to view for you but also in a 360 environment so let's jump in and have a look so this is what you see when the game first uh, starts up and you have balloons obviously coming up here and you're trying to shoot and you've got to try and pop so the idea of the game is that you must uh, Pop as many balloons as possible without letting any pass through or get too high in the atmosphere. And uh, if you miss three, you get three strikes. And as you just saw just a, a second ago on the board, you got the score of how many balloons you popped and also the amount of strikes that you have received. And that is it, it's a 360 environment. Uh, you use the control obviously to point and shoot using the right trigger or left trigger, depending on which hand you put it. And also the goal is to have a small gap. Um, as you can tell, the environment's built around the city landscapes. You're on the roof of a building. Um, overall, the feedback I've got is very positive. Everyone's enjoying playing the game, trying to compete against each other to get the highest score. Um, a few people have said that they suffered from vertigo, which will be seen in the videos I've done later on, getting some feedback from people. Some issues I've had with recording the footage from the Gear VR is that it doesn't record audio when I record. So I've had to manually put in the sound back here, but the sounds that you're hearing now, or just now, are the same as what you'd hear in the game. So when I should be playing the footage of people playing it over top, you would hear the sound of the game. words. I'm just going to record you for a bit, Michael, if that's alright. <laughs> no! What did I say in the previous video? Yeah, I was just thinking about my cherries. Try it, but yeah, so I'm wondering. Oh, I just want to this video co-stars uh, Thomas and Raggy. It's a bit like uh, Oh, is that the cherry one? Yeah. It's not Dr. Pepper, it's Coke. It's not, it's not okay. It's not mine, it's fine. Let's go check behind you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there you go. That should be enough footage for I mean, you. Now that, I think four or five people have tried it and everyone seems to enjoy it. So. Yeah. Okay, what do you think of the game? What's well, cool. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> what was the main thing you liked about it? Uh, I don't know, the 360 view, the fact that you can turn around 360 degrees. <laughs> okay, and what was the main thing you didn't like or would improve? Uh, I don't know, maybe... The I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty nice for a phone VR game, actually. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, what did you think of the game? It's good. Do you, do you, do you want more than that? I mean, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I liked it. Nice and uh, simple challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, holding high school, so I'm pretty happy. Okay. Um, if there's anything you could improve. What would it be? Um, mm. Maybe the controller. Yeah. It's pretty tricky with the controller. Um, it kind of goes off aim every once in a while. And maybe make the darts a little bit more um, fast, because sometimes okay. the, there's like a pointer that you aim at, mm. but it's it usually gets well below uh, where you want to shoot. 
this way. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Okay. So Go on. What did you think of the game? I enjoyed the game. Um, it was nice, simple VR experience. I hadn't used that particular headset before. That was new. Um, so it was a nice, good experience on a fairly simple, uh, easy to understand game that I had a lot of fun with. Got to grips with the controls quickly, which is important. And yeah, I uh, enjoyed it. I would play it again. Uh, was there any particular element you'd like the most? Um, I quite like the visuals of being on the building. Um, gave me a little bit of vertigo, which I quite enjoyed. And um, the throwing of the darts was entertaining. Uh, there was a nice satisfying pop when they hit the balloons. That was a nice little bit of added um, realism there. That will tick off one of your um, free illusions, I think. Okay, uh, and what, any specific parts you didn't like or thought could be improved? Um, <laughs> the menu didn't work at the end. <laughs> I would have wanted to play again. But, um, in terms of actual gameplay, I think maybe centre the darts a little bit better. I think they were just a bit off tilted, off ball. They were on an offset, which made well, aiming a little bit trickier than it should have been. Okay, thank you. Um, overall, I'm really happy with how it's come out. A lot of positive feedback. Everyone seemed to really enjoy the game. Um, a lot of people were surprised with how good the game was, especially for a mobile VR game. Um, I don't think a lot of people have realised how far mobile VR has come, especially when you compare it to the HTC Vive and the Oculus. Um, obviously, the tracking doesn't compare when you compare the two. And... It is evident in the quality that you can build, but f especially the controller that now the mobile VRs are including. Um, even though it's tracking only using the phone's position in Bluetooth, it is relatively good. Obviously, it's not as good as the three-point tracking that is used in the HTC Vive. And it's very noticeable, especially that the one critique, I, uh, critique that I got was with the shooting of the darts and it not being very accurate. That would be massively improved if I had the free point tracking. I think other than that, I'm happy I chose mobile VR. It makes the game more accessible for more people. Not everyone can afford the, not only the cost of the sets themselves of Oculus and HTC Vive, um, but the cost of having a PC that can run these type of games and the VR kits. So mobile VR is a very cheap alternative. Most people already own the phone and when I, when I bought mine, the controller came with it as standard now. So it's a good thing going forward. Um, another critique was about the vertigo. Some people <laughs> quite like the idea of getting vertigo when you first come into the game. Um, others, not so much. Uh, a way to get by that would be creating other environments, perhaps. And it was something I considered when making a game. It was just due to a lack of time. A lot of time was actually put into getting the mechanics to work first and foremost and make sure the game runs. Uh, the environment was probably third on the list of things to do but going back to it if i had to i would create another environment so that people who don't suffer from vertigo can play the game in a more comfortable environment that suits what they need so yeah so other than that i'm um, thank you for watching this video and